Hello fellow romance book lovers, it's me Kat, coming to you today with a great romantic comedy book called Heart Pranked by B.L. Olson. So this is the second book of hers I've read. I read Repercussions, which is the first one, and I loved that book. I am a fan of hers. I liked how she wrote that from the get-go. And you know, something I always talk about is kind of how the title fits into the book. And as I was reading Repercussions, there were so many times that I highlighted where that came into her book. And I really enjoyed it. Heart Pranked is a little bit lighter of a story. It's a romantic comedy. It takes place over a weekend. I mean, there's stuff that, you know, happens a little bit after that. But basically, it's about Sienna and Ethan. Sienna is a twin. It's her sister Sage's wedding weekend. And not only is she the sister, she's the maid of honor, she's the wedding planner. So something we know about Sienna, just from all those three things that I told you, is that she's kind of a type A personality. She's not, you know, cold and type A, but she wants the best for everything at every situation. She's a doctor, she's a pediatric doctor, she's, you know, takes that very seriously. So she likes a schedule, she likes to be organized, that's what she's used to keeping her life, you know, kind of controlled, and that's the way she is. Ethan, as you can imagine, is exactly the opposite. He's a stunt man, he's kind of footloose fancy free, he takes chances, he's an adrenaline junkie, he had the most interesting hobby, I, I guess you could call it a hobby, um, something he, uh, an event he competed in and was well known in, um, besides being a stuntman, that I've ever read in a book before. <laughs> and I don't want to give it away because it's hysterical. I had to Google it to see if it was really a thing. Of course it was really a thing. I'm going to use one word and then I'm going to entice you to go look it up. Ironing. Yes, ironing clothes has to do with that. So funny. I literally put the book down, picked up my phone, and looked up what she was talking about. So that was really refreshing. Very funny. Never heard of it before. But it just goes to show the kind of personality that he has. And he is, so Sage is Sienna's sister. She's getting married to Pierce. Ethan is Pierce's best friend. So they're automatically paired up as maid of honor and best man. And something that we learn right away in the beginning is that uh, from the engagement party, Ethan has decided that he wants Sienna, and you know he's you know, she's she's it for him. You know that's the woman that he sees the rest of his life with. Well, she doesn't really give him the time of day. <laughs> she's not very nice to him. Well, you know they kind of, you know Brittany kind of alludes to like. She just can't even go there with him because he's so different than her. And like, she, you know, that ruffles her feathers a little bit. And she is kind of confused by him. And she's like, oh, I can't. I, mm -mm, no, 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 no. Like he's too wild for her. And, but we hear from Ethan at the engagement party they met, bam, that was it. So his whole purpose, her purpose is for the wedding weekend to go off without a hitch, it to be a beautiful ceremony, to give her sister the best wedding she can plan for her. You know, everything is, she has scheduled and organized to a T. They're getting married in this beautiful apple orchard um, with this old historic house. You know, beautiful scenery. She just wants the best for everyone and her family. And Ethan is gonna mess it up a little bit. And he kind of feels like that's how he's gonna get to her, that if he can throw her off guard, that that will be his in with her. And, you know, he has a lot of heart and we get chapters from his perspective that I really, you know, he wasn't just this like goofy stunt man, you know, there was a lot to him, super swoony, very sexy, and I, I really liked him. And I appreciated Sienna as a character. You know, I knew where she was coming from and I liked to see the different, how their story was going to unfold and the different pranks that Ethan is known for, and there's the title, Heart Pranked. Um, he's kind of known for being the jokester and kind of doing stuff like that, and Sienna is kind of terrified going, what is he going to do next? 
which is really funny. So he's got her on edge right away. And it was cute to see what pranks he was pulling and how she was like, you know, so ready for them and yet thrown off guard. And, and I really liked how the story flowed. I highlighted so many passages that made this book the true romantic comedy that it is. Brittany Olsen is hysterical. Some of the stuff I burst out laughing with because it was just, I mean, I'd never heard anything like that before and it was funny. It made me laugh. That's why it was so refreshing and happy. And, you know, I, I read, um, as fate would have it and I did a video on that a little while ago and it was the same kind of like refreshing you know different book um, you know often you read the same because you like the same authors you know you read kind of the same genre subgenre for a while and you know I get into you know parts where I'm really really reading really dark books or you know um, I'm about to start a paranormal romance um, book sets duo and I've never read that before so you know I do like being pushed out of my boundaries and I do like being surprised when a book comes along like this that I read and I'm like that was wonderful this was worth it it's like a palate cleanser um, it just was amazing so I wrote down some of the highlights and I'd like to share them with you because they are hysterical at one point um, Sienna is talking about happy that she's down the hall from Sage and Pierce's room at the inn so she doesn't have to hear them you know Sienna says that she's happy she doesn't she's happy she's down the hall because she doesn't want to hear Sage batter dipping Pierce's corn dog <laughs> what this is hysterical Sienna is talking about Ethan's smile at one point and she says that stupid thing could even get a menopausal woman's ovary started again I mean that was hysterical and I paraphrase that but it was super funny another funny thing was Sienna says she is coming down off the mountain with a new commandment that thou shalt not be bangable <laughs> she's talking about Ethan I thought that was a funny one too Ethan was super witty as well in his own right and he talks about being cock blocked and he's like what's the female version of being cock blocked Clam jam. I, mean, <laughs> I never heard that before. Fabulous one-liners. Do you see what I'm talking about? Hysterical. There is so much sweetness and heart in this book. Ethan is sweet and he wants Sienna. And it just, it, it just was so, there, there, there's, it's just such a great love story. And it kind of builds up to this last prank that Ethan's gonna play. And Sienna decides if he can't beat him, join him. So she goes to him and she's like, just let me in on it. You know, I won't stop it, but just let me in on it so I know what hap what's gonna happen. And you know, I think she's kind of trying, you know, she's not kind of, she is trying to manage it, but yet let him do it. Um, she sees him for what he is. She's started to fall for him. She's, they've had some romantic encounters and she just wants him to let her in a little bit so that you know he can go and he can do the prank and that's fine she's not going to be super bothered by it but she wants to know you know and that's you know her controlling self wants to know and he kind of teases her a little bit a little bit a little bit a little bit and he actually kind of makes her part of the prank because she doesn't really know and all of a sudden she realizes that this situation is unfolding and she realizes oh my gosh this is it and it was really, to me, like, was it really a prank? Yes, because Sage and Pierce didn't know about it. Neither did any of the wedding party know about it. But it was such a sweet moment. And you get this glimpse into him and how much he cares for his best friend and the girl he's, she, he, meaning Pierce, his best friend, is going to marry Sage. And it was so sweet. So like, was it a prank? I mean, yes, but it was like this really sweet moment at this really pivotal time in the book where everything was leading up to this moment. And it was just, it was so endearing to Ethan and to the whole book. I loved it. And the fact that it was the big prank made it kind of even better for me. And I just loved it. And at that moment, Sienna is kind of looks at it and she sees him with 
new eyes a bit. She had kind of, like I said, been falling for him and they'd had some romantic encounters. But she looks at him and she's like, is it really about the prank or is it about the fact that he loves these two people that are getting married and what he can do for them? And I thought that was really beautiful. She also realizes in that moment, because it's such a sweet thing that he did, that he kind of did it for her too. That that's how he knew that he could win her over. Um, in addition to everything that he had already been doing. And she realizes that when he when the, the prank is kind of played out. And she realizes and she says it's like he it's a plan to he devised a plan to win over my heart as well. Not only like the super sweet endearing thing that he did for his two best friends, you know? It was just it was it was very sweet. I really enjoyed this book. I will certainly read everything that Brittany Olson, B. L. Olson is her author name reads, uh, writes. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by today and watching the video. Let me know if you've read either of B.L. Olson's books in the comments below. Thanks for watching.